Hey guys, so as you can see by the title of this video and the thumbnail, I'm going to kind of give some predictions in this video on why I think a lot of Sword and Shield is about to run up. We're going to take a look at eBay, see how much is out there on the open market. But before we get into this video, I just want to jump in here and say 71.8% of you guys watching these videos the past 30 days aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you're getting some value, you're enjoying the content, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. And also, if we hit 5k before Christmas, I'm giving away a Silver Tempest booster box. And I'm going to throw in two Fusion Strike build and battle kits as well, because why not? Uh, but to get into the video, right? So as you can see by the thumbnail and stuff, I do think a lot of these boxes could hit close to $300 USD uh, before the end of 2024. So when you look at Chilling Rain, right, the lowest listed on eBay, and I'm going to talk Canadian dollars, so sorry if you guys are in the States or other parts of the world, uh, $315 Canadian is the lowest listed. Now, some of these are um, multiple listings, so some people have like six, ten boxes up or whatever. Uh, but I did do the math. It's about 50 boxes, 60 boxes before we hit a $400 Canadian listing, which would be pretty close to 300 USD. Uh, so about 50 boxes on Chilean Rain. Lost Origin, lowest listed is 330 Canadian. And if you scroll through all these before you get to a $400 box, it is about 30 boxes, I believe, 32, something like that. So low 30s in terms of lost origin before we hit a $400 booster box on eBay. Fusion Strike even worse, lowest listed $350 Canadian and there's only 17 boxes I believe before we get to this $400 Fusion Strike box on uh, on eBay. And then finally Evolving Skies lowest listed $1235 Canadian. Some people have multiples like this Monet Canada has about eight boxes up right now at this uh, 1235 price tag. Uh, but I believe it's about 20, 30 boxes before you get up to a $1,400 box if you scroll down again. So yeah, you're hitting you're hitting this on the first page still. Well, second page, but first page of boxes because first page is just ETBs and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, you know, not a ton of boxes, right? When we think about eBay in North America, how many people are buying and selling these boxes? You know, 20, 30 boxes for what, how many people in North America? 300 and almost 400 million probably at this point. How large is Mexico? Might even be over 400 million if you include Mexico. But uh, yeah, you know, not a ton of boxes on the open market, guys, uh, before we hit some of these some of these uh, prices. So I know a lot of people said Evolving Skies wasn't going to hit, or was going to hit rather, $1,000 before the end of the year. I thought that was crazy when people said that in March and April. And now I'm starting to look at it and it's like, you know what, it honestly could happen. Like we're pretty close. Same thing with Fusion Strike, Lost Origin. Like some of these boxes could run up to 300, 320 USD before the end of the year. It's not, it's not unlikely, right? Like all of this stuff is sold out on the Pokemon Center, uh, except for, you know, auxiliary products like uh, the Build and Battle Stadiums, the Build and Battle Kits, you know, stuff people don't really want. Lost Origin only has the Build and Battle Stadiums, which you can probably still find cheaper on uh, other websites. Chilling Rain's been sold out forever. Evolving Skies, same thing. But the point is, right, as everyone's fighting over Surging Sparks right now, dumping their boxes around 200 bucks, stuff like that, everyone's, you know, trying to get in on Prismatic Evolutions at $100 an ETB, right? When people are doing this, maybe just pick up some Chilling Rain at 200 230 Lost Origin, you know, 200, 230 in that range, sure. Fusion Strike, probably the one, like if you're gonna pick up one of these three, I would probably go with Fusion Strike just because it seems, you know, based on eBay, that there's less boxes of Fusion Strike out there uh, than there is Lost Origin, Chilling Rain. Uh, Chilling Rain obviously was hit with the massive reprint. Fusion Strike as well, but it seems like the market has favored Fusion Strike over Chilling Rain. And then Lost or Origin's a bit newer of a set. Uh, that they get a big reprint in 2022, I believe, at the end of 2022. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd probably go with Fusion Strike if you can find it in that 200 range still, 230 even, why not? Uh, and I've I've had a couple boxes up on Facebook Marketplace locally that had some damage to the wrap that I've been wanting to move, and I have been getting a lot of interest in them. So it, it seems to me that people want to buy Fusion Strike over these, and I think just based on how much is out there in the market, it's probably going to be the one that moves the most compared to Lost Origin, Chilling Rain, at least in the short to midterm. Evolving Skies, same thing. I mean, like, you know, this might even hit $1,000 before the end of the year, which, as ridiculous as I thought that sounded back in March or April, you know, it just, the market we're in is ridiculous, right? So anything is possible at this point. 
I, I put the estimate of $9.99 just because I want to make a video at the end of the year uh, talking shit about everyone who said it was going to hit $1,000 and just say they were wrong. But no, I mean, definitely a good shout, right? Like people, people knew that this was going to move a lot more than I thought it was going to move. And obviously I couldn't, I couldn't imagine that we'd be in a market like this, uh, in, in November, towards the end of November, 2024, but Hey, we're here now. Uh, it is what it is. I also just, just another thing about surging sparks. Cause, uh, I feel like this is kind of important. Rudy from Alpha Investments made a video today. He was talking about, um, how a lot of people now are buying things from him, uh, on Patreon and they're paying with Bitcoin. And, uh, he, this is the most, uh, crypto transactions he's seen in a while and he does think that some of the Pokemon uh, boom is coming from crypto and that is why I am just a bit concerned about these newer sets like Surging Sparks not not majorly concerned right I've I've actually been buying a bit more Surging Sparks with the plan to uh, move it if it hits to 250 or 225 250 rather uh, over Christmas like it's kind of just a quick flip thing for me but all my long-term stuff, I feel really good about, like my Fusion, my Lost Origin, my Chilling Rain, uh, my Evolving Skies box, and then all the uh, auxiliary products I have that have uh, Evolving Skies in it. Like I feel really good about these sets in the long term. And I do think there is an increased demand for Pokemon right now that's not coming just from crypto. Uh, TCG Pocket's been wildly successful. Obviously, we're going into the Christmas season. Pokemon's a big thing around the holidays. Um, so, I mean, you know, looking at these older sets, like I feel great in my positions. And uh, if you still haven't bought in, I think there's still time to get into a lot of these sets before they move up to that 300, 350 range. And it's only going to be a matter of time before some of these boxes, you know, these 300, 350s are gone and then we're moving into $400 range, right? So, uh, I mean, you guys, you guys can make up your own decision if you want to get into the newer sets. If you want to fight over Prismatic Evolutions pre-orders for you know, a hundred bucks, an ETB, which is insane to me. The Cans and Games one, uh, it's still up apparently, it looks like on their website. So if you still want to get one in Canada, $85 Canadian, uh, you should be able to still get one. Uh, Surging Sparks, good luck finding it under 250 Canadian at this point anywhere. Uh, yeah, I mean, this box is, this box is probably going to stay at $200. I don't imagine it's coming down, especially since everyone's saying there's going to be no reprint before Christmas. So uh, yeah, Sword and Shield, guys, those are my predictions. I wouldn't be surprised if Fusion Strike hits 300 USD before the end of the year. Lost Origin in that, you know, 290 range. Chilling Rain maybe a bit lower at 280, 270. And Evolving Skies, 999 a box, guys. It's not it's not breaking $1,000 before the end of the year. I'm, I'm sticking to it, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for being here, supporting the videos, you know, liking, subscribing. Uh, affiliate links in the description, as always, if you guys are doing some shopping. Stay safe wherever you are in the world, and I'll catch you in the next one.